Is it a publisher or a platform? Oh, well, people need to be awake and they need to Need to be awake and they need to be aware. Hi everyone, it's Analytical Chick. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, so it's an ongoing theme in the ongoing discussion about um, uh, you know, tech, big tech censorship, about whether it's a publisher or a platform. And the idea behind it is if a tech giant is a platform, then they are immune from lawsuits because anybody can basically post. But the argument is that because they are constantly taking down tweets, taking down Facebook posts, um, going after people, kicking them off the platform, they're basically a publisher because they have kind of an editing, curating type function where they're deciding what's best to put out. And I just wanted to let's go over here. Um, this right here, I guess it's from Minnesota in the heading, but it's talking about the Communications Decency Act. And I thought this was an interesting. Section 230 has been used to limit liability in the past, so that would be kind of tied in. Um, that basically, you know, oh, you're hosting a forum, you're not liable. Well, are you hosting a forum or, I mean, and that's the thing is they took it too far when they were just kicking off like porn type stuff. Everybody was really like, okay, whatever, because our society was used to considering porn something that could be kicked off. But now, now that they're attacking, attacking conservatives now it's become a free speech thing and honestly like as far as like porn stuff I don't want to see that like one of the reasons why I don't use mines very often I don't know if they still do it but I was seeing a lot of like skanky dressed girls and I was just like I don't want to see that I don't want to see that nope don't want to see it I wouldn't want to see a guy with his stuff hanging out either don't want to see it I don't want to see it. Nope. Don't want to see it. And this is not really related, but when I was looking for, through stuff to cite for this, I ended up finding this. It's interesting. I guess it could be related. In fact, it made those terms of service contracts and user agreements void. And that is something I've potentially mentioned, and I know uh, Leo Lesser, the YouTuber law channel, if you don't know, He's a lawyer who is, he's the one representing Sargon of Akkad, um, suing, I don't want to say Patreon, don't quote me on it, um, suing someone for being censored. Anyway, so his kind of, at least he's taking one case in the whole free speech tech giant um, issue, so I don't know how much of a specialty it is of his, but it's something he's definitely doing paid work in. So that's something he's discussed, and I think he was actually the one who really started discussing this whole is it a platform or is this a publisher, and how that is relevant to all of us. And now you see everybody kind of talking about it, but people are generally talking about it as an overall um, subtopic within the greater realm of tech censorship. And so I thought it warranted its own video, even though it's a little short one. Anyway, thanks for stopping by my channel. All right. People need to be awake and they need to be, need to be awake and they need to be aware. They need to stand up against the sun. People need to be awake. People need to be awake. They need to be aware. They need to stand up against this stuff. Oh, and it's, and it's so politically engaged. And it's so politically engaged.